What's up, Spirits fam? It is your emo daddies. Why do you always do that? Why not? What, uh... Okay. <laughs> he, don't worry about what I I'm doing. I don't trust you. You just stay in your I lane. I don't trust you. They're right there, not okay. here. What up, Spirits fam? <laughs> I don't like it. All right. What? Dude, I, now I'm just off. Turn me off. Turn me back on. <laughs> what up, Spirits fam? It is your emo daddy, Riley. And Sean. We play in a band called Spirits from Portland, Oregon. We do some reacts. Yes. We're back today. This is a new band. Now, we've been getting a lot of requests for this band, and I have refrained from checking it out. Yeah. But apparently, we're going to love it, according to you guys. So I'm excited to check it out. The band is Spirit Box. I feel some connection there. I do. And uh, the song is called Constance. Uh, before we dive into that, we got a five-song EP called Novellas. It's available on this channel, Spotify, Google Play, iTunes, all that good stuff. Uh, please give that a check. Check it out. Let us know what you think. Yeah, you can also find merch, uh, physical copies of the CD. We'll put a link in the description. Uh, we've got shirts, tote bags, stickers, car decals, all sorts of good stuff. Yep. Uh, we can't play shows right now, so we just take that money and reinvest it in the channel, so it really does help us out a lot. Yep, that money will help us do things like ghost hunting, some comedy skits, some serious videos, filming music videos for original content. That's the biggest one I'm excited for. Make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell, ding, ding, ding. That way you know when we upload stuff. We do live streams. We're actually doing one with our spirit spam right now. We love you guys. We want to say hey to Ghost Killer Entertainment and Solar, Solar Guitars. Guitars. <laughs> Alright, let's dive into this. I like that drum work already. That voice, man. Like that lead line there. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of like Paul Pia. See, this is the kind of shit that I love. I like how melodic it is. Yeah. I like how mellow the vocals are too. Well, from what I understand, they're kind of a heavier band, and that's what I've heard, so it's cool to hear that. If that's the case. That's sad it showed her looking at the picture and yep. not recognizing. Mention 
Twitch is a bitch, man. It really is. Nice little polyrhythm going on here. That is uh, the cinematography in this video like there how they all have that lone light beam coming down on them. Mm -hmm. that was so well done in well, all ways well then how they did the stop motion of things starting to disappear mm -hmm. you know it really because honestly I didn't understand what the song was about until all that happened yeah and then the lyrics started making more sense which mm -hmm. I love when bands do that you know um, music is the type of thing that can be really open-ended, which is really cool. Yeah. But there's sometimes when you really want the, the story to get across of what you're what you're trying to say. Absolutely. And so sometimes having that visual aid really helps out a lot. There's this kind of trend going on with music right now, where you have those really chimey, clean tone guitars, mm -hmm. and then you have this super low tune stuff happening at the same time. Yeah. And I don't care how many times I hear it. Mm -hmm. It just hits me the right way. Oh, totally. There's something about the juxtaposition of those gorgeous, like, clean parts and really, like, airy, sing-songy parts. Right. And then you drop into something really heavy, but super melodic. Mm -hmm. It just works so well for me. Well, and one thing I noticed when they got into that super chuggy part, uh, the bass actually went off on a different note than the guitar, which normally it would be like the bass would kind of follow the guitar, but they came up with this clashing note that it normally wouldn't sit well with me, but for that part and how they wrote it, that clashing note really worked really well for me. I didn't even catch that. Yeah. I like to, this is one thing that bands do that I think is underappreciated, but after the first chorus, they tease that little da 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 but they only gave you about four bars. Yeah. And I was thinking, like, that better not be the only time that riff happens right. because I wanted more of it. But then when it repeats at the end, I'm not sitting here like, yeah, that was cool the first time. Yeah. It's like, yeah. oh, sick, here it is again. Oh, totally. And then they they changed it up a little bit, too, where the polyrhythms would hit and stuff like that. So really, really intelligently written song. Totally. Um, I can really appreciate a band like this a lot. Vocally, just a beautiful voice. Totally. I'm excited to check out their other stuff because I've heard of Spirit Box. I've never checked them out. But for, yeah. like I said before, I'm under the impression that they're a little bit heavier band. So I want to, if that is the case, I want to hear you know what that is and, and how different it is to what they're doing on the, on this track. Yeah, I mean, based off that, um, that, you know, and that's a good point because with this song, they've set themselves up so well to where, like, really, they could put out an acoustic song. Oh yeah, and it would sound natural. They could, or they could put out like a really heavy ballbuster song. Well, it's like you said, they didn't pigeonhole themselves. Which yeah, a lot of artists do. They get stuck into that one, one you know lane, and then that's what happens is they try to venture out of that. And since they've gotten stuck in that lane, all their fans are like, "This isn't the band that I love." Yeah, exactly. So. I think that probably has a lot to do with why I like that, like clean chimey stuff yeah. with heavy stuff right. in one song right? because it's like I, I don't care what direction you go now yeah it brings it all together and makes it all cohesive yeah yeah. Uh, if you want to check out our music we have a five song EP out called Novellas you can stream it on all major streaming platforms or if you want a physical copy head in the description there's a link to our merch store we've got CDs shirts tote bags we even got car decals that'll make your car run better and faster uh, make sure you check those out um, also, we have new music on the way, we have some covers, and then we have new original music on the way that we're yeah. really excited about, uh, so keep an eye out for that. If you're ever going through some rough times in your life and you don't have a support group, head over to Facebook. There's a group called The Spirit World. One of our Spirits fan, Willow, created it. Uh, it's just a bunch of people from all over the world that have really come together and focused on each other's mental health and mental well-being. Uh, it's really important, especially during these times, to have that human connection with other people. Yeah. And a lot of times there's someone out there that you might not even know personally, but they're going through an issue that's similar to what you're going through, so you guys can kind of help each other through that. Uh, a couple things that the group is not for. Tell them, Riley. 
Well, it's not a place to spam. <laughs> don't spam posts there. Yeah. Um, don't try to troll or bully people. We'll kick you out immediately. No warning. Like, yeah. you're just gone if you're doing that shit. Yeah. Um, and then, gentlemen, don't get in this group and just so you can slide in the DMs and chicks. Like, yeah. it, that's not what this is for. It, we're tackling really serious issues, and people are opening up in a major way, and it's not appropriate at all. And we, we will not tolerate that. Yeah, also it is a protected private group, so if there's things that you don't want to leak out into your everyday social circle, uh, you don't have to worry about them seeing what you post in there. Uh, there are some questions that you have to answer to get in the group. It's just kind of some added protection to make sure that everyone's there for the same reason. Yeah. Um, other than that, make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell. Ding, ding, ding. We do live streams on Sundays. We're actually doing one with our Spirits fam right now. Absolutely. And we want you to be part of it. It's a lot of fun. You know, uh, we all just hang out and chat um, and get ready for the work week coming up. So it's, yeah. it's really been a blessing for our lives, and we appreciate you guys. Other than that, welcome to the Spirit World! Spirit Box World.